Right, we're just going to do, we actually are going to do a little bit of a strong practice today, only because we did only have the one class last week. And I will try my best to do one for tomorrow, but today I can't. Uh, modify these poses, come out of poses. If it's uncomfortable, please, please look after your body. We're going to work into the abs a little bit and just do some nice stretching. So we're going to just come onto our backs in the usual position. So soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. If that is uncomfortable, just bring the knees bent towards the, towards the ceiling. And just bring your hands to gently rest on the belly and you can slowly close down the eyes. Just coming into the breath, and I want you to breathe all the way in through the nose. And let's exhale out the first few out breaths. Bringing yourself into the practice. Let's bring our awareness to the body. Let's just have a little quick scan, starting from the feet all the way to the head. Just noticing how you feel. So let's notice how the feet feel as they're resting on the mat. Moving towards the knees. Just being aware of any pain or discomfort. And just slowly bring your awareness towards the hips and the pelvis. Maybe take a little rock from side to side. And again, just taking care not to stretch too much. This is quite a nice hip opener. And slowly bringing your hands up towards the ribs and the back of the body. And again, just noticing any pain or aches you may be experiencing. And let's move up towards the shoulder blades now. And inhale, as you exhale, just feel the shoulder blades pressing more into the back. Slowly moving towards the neck. Just noticing any pain in the neck. Sometimes we can suffer with that a lot when we're working from home or working at a desk. And just finally coming up towards the back of the head, just feeling it resting against the mat. And just being aware of these sensations. And let's just slowly come back to the breath. And we're going to breathe in for four, three, two, one. And exhaling for one. Two, three, four, and again, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, all the way out, one, two, three, four. And feel free to take it up to five or six. Just being aware of any sounds around you, maybe outside, maybe elsewhere in the house. Just slowly coming back to the breath. At any time during the practice, your mind wanders or drifts, just draw it back to the breath as many times as you need. Let's take a deep inhale all the way in. Hold at the top. And exhaling all the way up. Let's do that again. Inhale. Hold at the top. 
Exhale all the way up. And on the next inhale, I want you to slowly draw the knees in towards each other. So just take each knee in one by one. Just be mindful, we've been here for a while. And we're going to slowly draw each knee into the chest. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. Just notice how that feels on the lower back. Just take a moment. Does it feel nice? Does it hurt? And just listen to your body. We're going to slowly come to stillness. Inhale, you lift the forehead towards the knees. You can take the hands out active. Exhale to release. Lower the hands, lower the arms. Inhale to lift. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale. And release. And we're going to slowly bring the feet to the mat. Take the arms to the side. Press the feet into the mat as you inhale to lift the hips up, coming into your bridge pose. And you can make this a dynamic bridge pose. So engage those inner thigh muscles, engage the quads, engage the glutes as well. So when you're doing these sorts of poses, think about switching on the right muscles. So this is actually a very slight back bend. So we do want to engage those glutes. And we're going to stay here for three, for two, for one, and really slowly coming back to the mat. Just take a few moments here. We're going to take bridge pose again. And this time I will give you an alternative if you want to. So hands by the side, inhale to lift up. And this time, if you want, take hold of the right foot and just draw that right heel towards the right glute. Keep that lift in the hips. We're just exploring different movements here. We're going to stay here for three, for two, for one, and release. Release that foot out. Slowly bring the hips down. Just take a couple of moments here. See how you feel. And we're going to do that again. So inhale to lift. And this time you can take the left foot in and bring that left heel towards the left glute. And lift. And stay in here for three, for two, for one. And really slowly move that left foot away. Gently bring the hips back down. Nice. And just take a few moments here. Just noticing how it feels. What we're going to do next is we're going to take that right foot and place it over the left thigh. So we're just opening up the hips here. Just see where that right hip opens out to. You take the right hand, maybe take it a little bit further, being safe. Keeping that right foot flexed, choose your option. Loop the hands through around the left shin or the left thigh. It's your choice. Just keep breathing as well. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to slowly release that left foot to the mat, but keep that right leg where it is and just give it a hug. See if you can just cradle it a little bit. So we're just opening it out. And slowly bring the right hand to take hold of the outside of the right foot and just see if you can open that leg, working into the hamstring. So keep a nice stretch, bending that knee a little bit if you need to. Deep in now. As you exhale, slowly release, bring that right foot to the mat. Take a moment, just notice that feeling. And then we're going to move to the left side. So bring that left foot to rest on that right thigh. Again, just see where that left hip opens. It might be a bit looser or a bit tighter. That's completely fine. And use the left hand to take it a little bit further if it's safe. 
And when you're ready, come into your version. So you can loop the hands through around the right shin or the right thigh. Your choice, guys. Remember to keep that left foot nice and flexed to protect the knee and the ankle as well. It will usually be different on one side. But I can feel it more on my left side. Although you've got to bear in mind with this reclined pigeon pose, because you're actually working into the sort of muscles around the glutes as well. Just be careful not to overstretch. Let's take a deep inhale. As you exhale, release and keep hold of that left foot, slowly cradling it. And if you want to, you can open it up, just working into that left hamstring. Definitely tighter on this side for me. Wow. Ooh, I can feel that. You can bend that knee a little bit. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release. Just take a few moments here. So just notice that feeling. I'm going to move into a bit of an ab sequence. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to keep the knees bent. And we're going to place the hands towards the knees. So we're going to lift up the chest and place the hands on the knees. And what I want you to do is slowly bring the knees in towards the chest slightly. And I want you to release that right leg out straight, bring it back. Left leg out straight, bring it back. And just work through a few of these. Nice and slow. Keep breathing. And just keep the back nice and neutral. You can always lower the chest just and vary. I'm going to keep going for three, for two, and for one. So one more on each side. Hug it in and release. Slowly bring the feet to the back. Just take a few moments to rest now. And when you're resting, make sure you properly rest. So you just disengage the abs. This time, we're going to move on to our next abs exercise. And that's going to be focused a little bit more on the oblique. So that's the abs around the sides of the body. And we're going to do this usual what we've done before, which is going to be the heel touch. So we're going to lift the chest, take it over to the right, touch the right heel. Over to the left, through center. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale to lift and let's go. Don't forget to breathe, guys. It's quite easy to hold the breath there sometimes. And we're going to do 10 on each side. You can do fewer and come out of it. That's fine. When you've done enough for you, slowly come back to the mat. So maybe you're feeling it a bit now, which is good. And the next thing I want you to do is just place the hands around the waist and we're gonna bring both legs up in the air. And I want you to point and flex the toes and take a few rotations of the ankles in both directions. And slowly open the legs out. So opening up those inner thigh and groin muscles as well. And you can take a little rock as well if you want.
and you're already slowly coming back to center and just squeezing the knees in. Give yourself a nice little hug. That's great. All we're going to do now is we're going to come into our boat pose. So you can either rock up and down the spine if it's available, or you can roll out to the side. So whatever say. And we're going to do another ab sequence. So this one's going to be a little bit longer. So just so you know what we're doing. So we're going to come into for the uh, come into boat pose. So this is high boat and this is low boat. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come from low boat to high boat, low boat to high boat. When you're in high boat, cross the legs, come all the way up into a standing forward fold with the legs crossed. So you're working into the hands, hold it here, the three, the two, for one, uncross the legs, press the feet into the mat, inhale as you dip and sweep, coming into chair pose. Remember to zip up through the midline, nice and strong. Breathe in for three, for two, and for one. And slowly lower, come all the way down to the mat, coming back into your low bow to high bow. Low bow to high bow. Cross the other way now, coming all the way up into your forward fold. Working into the hamstring. Now let's stay here for three, for two, for one. Arms cross the legs, press the feet into the mat, knees together. Inhale as we lift up for our chair pose. Remember, nice and strong. We're using the core here as well. Press the feet into the mat for three. For two, and one, drop the bum, and we're going to just take a few breaths to rest now. We're going to do two more of those. When you're ready, we're going to come back into low boat. Remember, engage the core here to high boat. Low bow to high bow. Cross the feet, come in all the way up into your forward fold. You're going to stay here for three. This is quite a strong forward fold, so take it easy for two. For one. And uncross the feet, press them into the mat. Inhales, we dip and sweep for our third chair pose. Nice and strong, engage the quads, zipping up through that midline. Breathe in for three, for two, for one, and release the bump. We're going to come into our last one, low bow. Hold it here, work the abs. High bow and low bow. One more high bow. Cross the legs, coming all the way up into your forward fold. So don't worry if you need to drop a hand to help you up. I've had to do that in the last two. And stay here for three, for two, for one, and release. Untwine the feet, and one more chair pose. Nice, guys. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay here for three. For two. For one, and release. Bring the bum to the mat and slowly, slowly coming all the way down. That's the abs done, guys. So you did really well. So let's just release the legs. And we're going to have about five breaths in breath here. That was strong. I felt it more in the last two. So let's just take two more breaths wherever you are. We're going to slowly bend the knees. 
press the feet into the mat, arms by the side. Inhale, you lift up the hips, shift them over to the right side, then you twist over to the left. And remember, you can make this twist as strong as you want. You can pull yourself further over with your left hand. You can visualize that right shoulder blade drawing more towards the mat. It's your choice. Feel that breath all the way in. Breathing into the ribs and the right side body. Breathing all the way out. Nice deep inhale, all the way in, all the way out. Slowly coming back to centre, the next inhale. Just taking a few moments here, just notice how you're feeling. I'm going to bring the arms out wide again, take a deep inhale, lift the hips up, shift them over to the left slightly as we twist over to the right. breath in the left side for you. Bring this nice twist. Deep breath all the way in, all the way out. Slowly coming back to centre on the next inhale. Taking a few moments here. Notice how it's been. When you're ready, we're going to come to a cross-legged position. So you can rock up and down together, or you can roll out to the side. When you're in your seated position, don't rush. Just check that you're nicely rooted into the mat. So you're not lifting up too much on either side. If you've got a natural body shape, that means you are slightly lifted, then that's fine. But you might want to stick a cushion under somewhere just to keep you nice and protected. And we're going to inhale as we bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And let's take a few more. Let's take some in the opposite direction. It's really important to work into the shoulders. We do carry a lot of stress and tension in the shoulders. And I think you find when they're more open and relaxed, it can help you feel better. So we're going to inhale as we lift the arms up, take the gaze up. Feel that length in the torso. Exhale to release. Lower the arms, lower the gaze. Inhale to lift. We're working into the neck and release. And again. And release. One more time. Brilliant. Slowly bring the arms back down. We're going to take that right hand out to the right. Just plant it nice and firmly. Make sure you're nicely rooted into the mat. Inhale as we lift and lengthen through the left. We're going to take a stretch over to the right. Come into the forearm and the elbow if it's available. Don't force anything.
be there. Slowly inhale, we come all the way up. Sweep that left hand behind us. We're going to open that right leg out as we inhale and lift the hips up for our sort of mini wild thing. And exhale to release, sweep the arm all the way around the front. Nice fluid movement. And come to facing that right leg. Keep that right foot nice, flex, micro bend if you need it. Press that left foot into the thigh. Check you're nicely grounded. We're going to inhale, we lift the length. And exhale, we hinge forward over that right. Take the foot if it's available. Feel that length in the upper body. You might find more space as you breathe in and out. Don't worry if you don't, just use your own body. What I want you to do now is slowly lift that right hand off the mat. And just take yourself a nice little twist over towards the right. And you can take that right hand up, or you can bring it around the body towards that left hip behind you. Just a calf and a breath to lift the foot. Take one more inhale. And exhale to release. Slowly coming up on the next inhale. Just take your time. We're going to release that left foot out. Take the hands behind as we inhale to lift the hips, coming into reverse plank. Let the head drop back. And lift those hips for three, for two, for one. And really slowly lift the chin, tuck it towards the chest as we lower down the hips. And we're going to come back, cross legs. We're going to bring that left hand to the mat now. And we're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen through the right. We're just going to do the other side. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice. And again, just taking care. And remember, it's not how far you go, it's how you go. And listening to our bodies. Breathing in for three. A two, and slowly inhale as we lift up for one. Take that right hand behind, open that left leg out. And we're going to lift the left hip up this time, shoot that left arm in the sky for a nice little baby wild thing. And slowly really sweep that left arm all the way in front. And we're going to come to facing the left leg now. So flex that left foot. Keep a little micro bend in the knee if you need to. Press that right foot nicely into that left inner thigh. Take the hands by the side. We're going to inhale as we lift and then exhale as we hinge forward. So just take your time here. So just be aware of any differences. Remember, as you inhale, feel that length in the upper body. Exhale. And if you want, you can take that left hand and you can start lifting up towards the left side if you want to come into a little twist. And you can take it around the back towards that right hip. So do whatever works for you. We're going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Deep inhale, exhale to release and slowly coming up on the inhale. Nice. Going to take that right leg, bring it out, arms by the side, hands on the mat. Sorry. Inhale, we lift the hips, coming into one more reverse plank. And stay in here for three, for two, 
for one and release. Tuck the chin in as you slowly bring the hips back to the mat. And we're going to come back to our cross legs, so just facing the front of the mat with the legs nice and crossed. And just taking three deep breaths here. When you're ready, bring the hands down on the mat and come into your tabletop pose. And we're going to take a few cat cow breaths. So as you inhale, tilt the pelvis towards the mat, draw the belly down, take the gaze up. Exhale, reverse that motion to so take your time. There we go, nice. And just keep flowing with your own breath. We've got about 15 minutes to go because I'm aware that we did start a few minutes late. So you're doing really well, breathing in, breathing out. Notice that feeling. It should feel quite nice to stretch into the back, to the shoulders. Just keep going. A couple more. Slowly come back to your neutral spine. And when you're ready, we're going to drop back onto the heels. You can untap the toes. And we're just going to stretch the arms all the way up. Coming all the way down and take them behind you if it's available and again, lift up and take them behind. Let's take one more. Fantastic. And slowly bring the hands in front of you. Lift the hips up, coming into downward facing dog. And just peel the feet, bend the knees, whatever you need. Externally rotate the upper arms. Nice strong pelvis as well, guys, and strong in the spine. So we're not just sinking that chest down. Inhale as you lift the heels, exhale to lower. And again, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. One more time. And release. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's take three lines breaths here. Just notice how you're feeling here. Let's take a deep inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands. Slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Just come into your rag doll for a brief couple of moments. Just swing it out, shake it out, whatever you need. Remember to bend the knees if you need to, looking after your body. Come to your stillness. And I want you to slowly start coming all the way up. And just Lift the arms up overhead. Come onto the tips of the feet, one and release. And let's slowly come into our mountain pose, the grassland. If you can bring the feet together, lift the toes up, spread them out as you bring them back to the mat. Shoulders away from the end, arms by the side. Nice neutral tailbone. Off in the face. Engage that back in the throat, huge eye breath. Let's stay here. Half and more breath. And inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let's step it back to plank pose. Draw the heels away from the body, nice strong hands. Inhale, exhale, lower it down. Elbows in towards the body. Open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Deep inhale. Exhale, gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. Taking a carbon of breath there. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let's step it back to plank. 
nice and strong. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower it down through Chaturanga. Work each of the triceps. Open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale that right leg in the air. Exhale, bend the right knee, bring the right foot between the hands. And we're going to inhale as we sweep the arms up for our low lunge. And as you inhale, I want you to straighten that front leg. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And again, inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to twist and lower also. Twist into the right. Let's come back through centre as we lift up. And lower and twist to the left. Nice. Coming back through center. Let's take the hand. Bring them to the mat. Breathe in and hold. Keep the shoulders nice and strong. And this time I want you to inhale and lift again. And let's bring the hands to the waist and slowly drop that left foot in slightly. Okay. Keep it nice and strong. Exhale. Bring that front foot. Coming into your standing split. Lift that left leg in the air, just wherever it's comfortable. And if you want, you can release that left hand coming into your half moon pose. It's your choice. When you're ready, slowly bend that right knee, drop the left foot back, coming into your warrior two, bending into the right knee to make your adjustments. You want to be pressing on the outer edge of the left foot. Then use that right knee nice and strong. Imagine that left, that right knee has been sort of drawn out to the side a little bit. Your pelvis will be tilted slightly towards the right. That's fine. Gazing over the right fingers. You're going to inhale as we straighten that front leg. I'm going to come to reverse triangle. So start twisting over towards the right. Take that left hand towards the inside of that right leg. And take the gaze up or down, whatever suits you. I want you to slowly start bending into that right knee. Turn that left foot out. Bring the left hand onto the mat. And we're just going to come into a twist over towards the right. You can drop the left knee, it's your choice. You're going to stay here for three, for two. Keep that left shoulder nice and strong for one and release that right hand. We're going to shoot that right leg in the air for our three-legged dog. You can stay here, you can release the foot or you can flow through a three-legged vinyasa like so. And we'll all be in downward facing dog. You want to work the triceps, you can do your dolphin dips, lower the elbows and lift. Something you might want to do, you don't have to, it's just the choice. Let's take a deep inhale together. Exhale as we gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise through the starthana. Exhale to release. We're almost there. Take a few moments. We're going to work the other side. So just take a, a little rest between the sets. Doing really good, everyone. Slowly come back into the Tadasana pose. So remember to check the feet, check them nicely grounded, shoulders away from the ears, arms by the side. Let's take a deep inhale, exhale. Inhale to rise, nice and tall. Exhale, release, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step it back to plank. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale to lower it down, elbows in towards the body, open the heart, downward facing dog. Remember to breathe into the back as well. Inhale, lift that left leg in the air, bend the knee, bring the left foot between the hands, come into your low lunge. We're just doing the other side. 
We're going to inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. We're going to take an inhale as we lift, and as you exhale, lower and twist to the left. And let's lift through centre, lower and twist to the right. And let's come back through centre. And I want you to exhale as you frame that front foot just for a moment. Inhale as you lift up. And we're going to shoot that left foot, the uh, right foot in slightly, sorry. And this time we're going to lower the hands and we're going to lift that right leg in the air for our standing split. And you've got the option of releasing the right hand off the mat. And when you're ready, bending into that left knee, drop the right foot back for your warrior two. So make your adjustments, bending into that left knee. We're nearly there, guys. Got that. Four minutes to go. Check your warrior two. And straighten that front leg. And I want you to slowly start twisting over towards the left this time. So bring the right hand towards the inside of that left leg. And as you exhale, slowly start bending that left knee. Bring that Right hand to the mat. You can drop the right knee. We come into our last twist on the side. Remember to keep that right shoulder nice and strong. Deep inhale. Exhale. Release that left hand to the mat. Shoot that left leg in the air. Option to stay here. Option two. Run through a three-legged vinyasa. It's your choice. We're all going to meet in downward facing dog. And let's take three lion's breaths here. One more inhale. Exhale, gaze between the hands. And I want you to step or jump through to seated. We're coming to the last bit now. Bring the legs out in front of you. Flex the feet. Micro bend the knees if you need, hands by the side, inhale, we lift the legs. Just coming into the last step for a couple of breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale to release. We're going to slowly come into our final hold. So bring the feet together, open them out like a book. I'm going to keep a safe gap between the groin and the heels. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, neutral spine for one inhale. And exhale, two release. So we're going to be here for three deep breaths. We've just got a couple of minutes to go, guys. Deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly come up on the next inhale. I want you to draw the knees in together and slowly lower yourself into your final Shavasana. So just let the feet come out wide. Create that space in the armpits. And we'll be here for just about a minute. Start deepening the breath. Just slowly starting to wriggle the fingers and the toes. Let's rotate the ankles and the wrists in both directions. 
And I want you to give yourself a nice big stretch. So shoot the hands all the way up, point the toes, and slowly release. Bring the knees into the chest. And give yourself a nice little hug. And slowly and safely making your way into your comfortable cross-legged position. When you're ready, you can keep the hands on the knees or you can bring the hands to heart center. Or you can place the left hand on the heart with the right hand over it. And we're going to end today's practice with our three clearing breaths. keeping the eyes closed and the face off. Just rub the hands together, generating some nice, lovely heat. And we're going to bring the hands to rest over the eyes. Just slowly opening the eyes underneath the hands and letting the hands go. I want to thank you all for today's practice. And I want to thank you all for working with me on trying new things and new sequences. The inner light in me will always honour the inner light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for today's practice. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Shab. Thanks, Thanks a lot. I'll drop an email around about for tomorrow. Then we might have a class tomorrow, but I will let you know. So watch this space. That would, that would be lovely if you've got time. Thanks, yeah. well, Take care, everyone. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thanks. See you later.